I know what's going to happen every time you ask that too many times. I don't even know why oh, yeah. you're doing it to yourself. <laughs> All right. The scary season then. <laughs> Welcome back to the Shooter Podcast episode 139 with me and the bro 808 Kicks ATL. Go and follow the bro, make sure we get him to 1k and also please do follow me myself, Love Kick Customs. So go and follow 808 Kicks ATL on Instagram, YouTube and all the social platforms as with myself, Love Kick Customs. But like we do every week, what we're here to do this week, bro? What we're here to do every do week? Every week. <laughs> Try to take over the world. You're going to get the intro right one day. One day it's coming. I need to rehearse it. <laughs> I really do need to rehearse that. <laughs> We're still learning. We're still learning. Um, but yeah, um, how are you doing this week, bro? I'm straight, man. I've been in recovery mode this week, really. Um, did a lot of outside activities last week. Uh, last weekend was my anniversary celebration. Well, actually, Monday was the day of the anniversary. But um, the past two weekends, we've been celebrating. And the celebrations continue to stretch out further and further, all the way into 2025, if you can believe it. <laughs> we still could be celebrating. Because <laughs> 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 the tickets to events were purchased that were not in the month of the anniversary. So, yeah, it's, yeah. Anniversary ain't going to be over till like, June next year. <laughs> Yo, bro, life is a celebration. Life is a celebration. <laughs> hey, hey, facts. But um, no, nah, last weekend we went to Bourbon Festival. Um, that was very uh, thirst quenching. <laughs> mm, <laughs> if nothing mm-hmm. else, it was thirst quenching. So uh, we got to partake of uh, a lot of different bourbons, and uh, we had some good food. Ooh. And then we went to. Our favorite place. Shout out to the Bridge Store and Neil and Dave and Sarah and Sarah and Sam and all the uh, Cliff and Bernard, the whole gang over there. Shout out to them. Um, <laughs> and we turned around the next day and ended up right back at Bridge Store because they had uh, a fall festival, like October Fest fall festival. Ooh. Yeah. So it, they had a damn uh, Halloween dog costume contest <laughs> it was cute and aggravating at the same time <laughs> I can believe a dog, it I can believe it a dog costume contest bro <laughs> like, what's, what's the what's the funniest what's the funniest costume you saw probably the target shopping cart <laughs> yeah well, you there broke. was a dog like, I would dressed love up to see some as pictures. Yeah, there was a dog dressed up as a Target shopping cart. I didn't take no pictures, bro. Um, ah, you know it. what my problem is? Most of the time, I just be trying to experience the moments. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't be... Yeah. I never... I ain't going to say never, but I rarely think about pulling my... Even if I got my phone in my hand, I'm not the take 100 videos and 100 pictures guy. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. I just be want to enjoy the moment and you know because I want to see it's so much to see I don't want to see it through my phone I want to see it with my eyes you know uh, yeah you need to you need to have uh, w- when we go out we me and missus we have one designated person who takes pictures it has to be one person that like if, if you want to take pictures takes pictures um, we had a couple of years back we had an Oktoberfest I think me and my brother-in-law went went to um, this Oktoberfest like my brother's brother-in-law and bro, the kegs were massive. The we was carrying up both kegs, getting like drinking two or three kegs um, in the night. It was great. I know I, I like those events. Oktoberfest is dope. The, like little yeah, festivals man. like that is dope. Yeah, it wouldn't even because they usually do like a bigger beer festival, a city uh, mm-hmm. beer festival. But um, they just, Neil declined to do it this year. 
And I didn't know what he was. I know what he told me. You know, I don't want to tell all his business, but he told me he had a different uh, vision for what he wanted the festival to to be. And he didn't think he was going to have enough time to pull everything together to make it what he envisioned. So he did a smaller version and it ended up being so lit, bro. Like it was so many people, but I was happy when the contest was over with because a lot of people uh, with the dogs got up out of there because they got like a garden area <laughs> in the back of the uh, restaurant. So that's why all that took place. But yeah, man, me and my wife, they treat us like family. They treat us like we work there. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. it was it was just dope for us to be there and see that, you know what I'm saying? Celebrating our anniversary too. So yeah, it was dope. Bro. Yeah. Congratulations. Bro. Congratulations. Many more, Appreciate many more anniversaries. You're hopefully heading your way. But, um, I, I, I the, uh, Halloween's quite interesting because you're talking about dogs and costumes. Um, there's this, there's this one dog that somebody dresses up in a Chucky, uh, like costume that with, like with, with the little hands and the knives and stuff like that. It's funny when they, when they're running the knives, the hands and knives are swinging like this. It is too mm-hmm. funny. Uh, I saw um, <laughs> there was a chef that had the little arm swinging. Um, there was a doctor. Of course, there was jack- jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, the one, the one uh, chick, she was dressed up like, um, ah, what was the name? Kill Bill. Beatrice from Kill Bill. Oh, yeah. The bride. Right. So she was the bride, and the dog had on a little tuxedo with a mask like uh, one of the Crazy 88 members. <laughs> So look, <laughs> look, check this, look. And we're going to get off of this now. too. We're going to get off of this too real real fast. So she she know what's going <laughs> on, right? So yeah. the dog, the dog had, you can see the tux on the dog and you see her with the, you know, with the yellow jumpsuit on when it was time because they did like a, a runway thing. So when it's time for her to come down the runway, they call, they call the pet's name, you know, and then say the owner, blah, blah, blah. And what the costume is. And right when it was time for them to walk down the runway, she had to hurry up and put the mask on the dog. The whole the whole walk down the runway, the dog. <laughs> <laughs> get this shit off. Get the, get the taking the mask off. off. <laughs> it was Yo, funny, bro. bro. I, 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 so like social media is like interesting in terms of like the pet, like pet side of it. Um, I see, I see people throw cucumbers at their cats and they jump. I've seen people, yeah. get, like people put like, like tape on their cats' paws and they're trying to get it off. Oh, bro, it's too, I don't know whether you classify that as abuse though. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it, I guess it depends. Like some people, some people like it rough. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> <laughs> Some people have you this ever dude. have you ever seen a woman who likes conflict? Like they seem yeah, to enjoy yeah. it. Like they 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 always Thriving arguing it. about something. They always yeah. nitpicking something. Like you have to believe that some people just have this thing about them where they they enjoy conflict for some reason. That's that's lightweight, like an abuse, ain't it? You know, because who want to argue all the time? No, I don't. I want peaceful life, bro. <laughs> right. So, so that's what I'm. That's the point I'm trying to make. Like some people like negative things that you you normally shouldn't enjoy in life. Like there's something in their brain that where they get that chemical reaction from that. I don't know. It, is is but I guess some some dogs people? wear costumes better than others. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this dog don't want no so, no no mask on. <laughs> you know what I'm no, no. <laughs> oh, bro, I, I would love to be. That would that would have been an awesome event. Um, I, I like little events like that. They they don't they don't. But um, this week, uh, I think I think my missus actually sent your missus some pictures this week. We made Man. a charcuterie board. <laughs> yeah. She showed me. Her phone the other day, and it's all these lights and decorations, and I'm like, "Who house is that?" She said, "You don't recognize that that room." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "That's TJ house." Hey. 
<laughs> you already know. <laughs> These fools done went fall crazy. Yo, I told you, remember about a month ago on the pod, I told you, Mrs. loves it. And then you sent some pictures of um, some like the Halloween um, decoration or the costume places and stuff like that. Um, and Mrs. is like, this is why my, she wants to go to the States one day and like literally go and get all the Halloween stuff because you do some awesome Halloween stuff. It is like the charcuterie board is absolutely beautiful. Cheese, uh, condiments and uh, meats and all that stuff all together. I had a couple of friends around. Um and the first thing they they came through the door, first thing they did was he put my mate, one one of my best mates uh, popped his head round through the door. He looked at it. He says, "Hello," and instantly phone out. Hello. He don't post any. He don't post the socials. Contest too, huh? No, that was years ago. That was years ago. We had some people. We had the whole. That was years ago. Not this year. Yeah, we did. We have, but not this year. <laughs> <laughs> this year, not this year. We, we, we. I was. Uh, oh, bro. I let, if I can find it now, I'll pop it. I'll pop it through on my on the thing. But um, we had loads of uh, costume uh, contests. Uh, no, one, one year we we went all out. Um, decorate. We made. Um, we made the front room into like a witch's den. Um, my mate was saying we made my, it would have, yeah, bro, I, I will, put, I will show, I will send you some pictures later. I'll send you and you miss some pictures later from years ago. Nah, don't send them um, in, send yeah, them yeah. <laughs> I'll send it to your missus. <laughs> Yo, you I, said, your, I, I showed this to, I showed this to Cam. Yours I showed this to, to Cam. Mine. I don't want <laughs> I showed this to Cam right on 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 Instagram live on Saturday. And I said to him, this is the remnants of a couple of years back. The bottle I'm showing you is a customized bottle of Jack Daniels with a label on it that's like aged out. It's got Salem's sour mash poison on it. Old type. It's got bat on it. Yeah, not Jack Daniels. Jack Stiff. (laughs) Jack Stiff. Exactly. That's this is the remnants of that party. (laughs) It's still here, and uh, the alcohol in it is glistening. Can you see that? Is that alcohol? Yeah, that's alcohol. That's Jack Daniels, but it's mixed with a glistening, uh, like a drinkable glistening glitter, which kind of shimmers. Full coloring. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's that's what she's on, bro. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm. She goes. She goes to me after that thing. Thank you for your help, and uh, thank you for the funds to provide me to do what I needed to do. <laughs> That's the most important part. Somebody got to provide the funds for the fun. You know what I'm saying? You got to have exactly. the funds for the fun. The more funds Yo. you got, the more fun you have. Exactly. Exactly. This is why we try to keep leveling up, brother, because we want all the fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile. So that, that meanwhile, was... We ain't getting out of one uh, doorbell ring. My wife had a little bowl of candy. You know, she ain't go crazy with the candy like we had, we've yeah. done in previous years. Because the kids in our neighborhood don't trick or treat, bro. The Halloween in the U.S. then went so crazy to where people actually designate neighborhoods and make routes for trick or treating. Like you can't even yeah. back in the day. We, me and all my friends, we just hit the block going door to door. You know what I'm saying? So if when you when you lived in the neighborhood, you knew what people wasn't gonna have candy or who didn't participate. But we would just hit the block out there by ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We ain't take our parents with us. We ain't had none of that. We was just out there till till we decided mm-hmm. we had enough. Now these people they they carpooling with the candy, they doing like events at the shopping center where you just bring your kid to the to the strip mall and get candy from all the stores. It's like <laughs> this is not real Halloween, bro. <laughs> I don't understand what these uh, people do. Yeah, she, Mrs. was telling me that um that there was not a hardly in trick or treaters in the states this year for some reason. Yes, there were trick or treaters, but it's not the same as it used to be. We was talking. Yeah, uh, I was talking to my sister about that yesterday, like. We used to we used to go outside, bro. We put our costume on. We go, you know. Of course, when you when you're small, you got your parents with you. But by the time we got hey. to early teens, nah, we clicked up. You, you know, get all your friends from the neighborhood and y'all mob around together, 
And once y'all get all the candy, then y'all start throwing eggs. And that's just how it go. Mm-hmm. Right. I found I found a picture. We'll move on to after this, but I found the picture. That's me, bro. That's Bubba Yeah, egg. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> that way I was that was then uh, my mate came in as uh, f- uh f- Jason. What is it? For, yeah, J- was it my, no, Mike Michael Myers. Myers. Yeah, Michael Myers. But yeah, it, it was it was it was an event. It was nice. Um I want to show you one last one I saw just a minute ago. This was a table. When I told you when I told you this was a table. If you're not seeing this, this is like a witch's den, bro. Like every single alcohol has been renamed. There's like shelves of like spells and bottles and all of that stuff. There's a book of spells on there as well. Can like Halloween candy, skulls and all of that stuff on there. That is how far she will go, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I, I remember seeing that picture too a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What y'all, so what y'all got to do is when y'all do come to the U.S., y'all have to come in October. And we can yep. just do the Halloween blowout. Yeah, that would be good. That would be actually good. I have, to, I have to try and plan that, definitely. Because it's, <laughs> it's too much Halloween over here. Yeah, um, they, need, they need to be shared around the world. That's all I'm saying. But well, she loves it. Yeah. Uh, as long as she's happy, that's all I care about. <laughs> yeah, that's the main thing. Definitely the main thing. Exactly. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, uh, Kicks on Fire, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck them. Ooh. Why? Um, Hold on, hold on. Let me show you this. All right, <clears throat> I I ain't want to put that video on the on the pod. Kicks on fire. Lifted a video from uh, Got Souls, the the sneaker convention, and they captioned the video. What do you think? Mm-hmm. My problem with with this video is. The subject. <clears throat> the subject is polar. Mm-hmm. The bro, part of the um, the network, if you will. We don't play by polar. No, polar don't play by Polar's us. Family. <clears throat> polar's family, bro. Why in the fuck? Would you caption a video of a man celebrating the purchase of his grill as what do you think? That's kind of disrespectful. It's, it's, bullshit, it's, kind, it's kind of disrespectful. Like, like, you, like, if, if, if you guys don't know the background to that story, um, it, po- Polar's come through like us he's struggled through his life um been through hard places and he's in the position where he can just splurge and he's worked his way to that position i have great respect for him i love him as a bro he does some things that i kind of question him but that's that's between us as family we talk um well, I, I respect everything he does he's family you did I don't, I don't i don't know if they tagged him did i tag him not at all all right, that that that's disrespectful because you're basically throwing shade. Like Polar cried yeah. when he got that because that was his ultimate grill. Polar uh, cried Polar's on his podcast. Very, yeah, of course he did. Um, that, and we talked Talking about that about situation. Uh, yeah, he, he. If you've listened to the podcast, you know that that there's there's meaning behind that, and there's a reason for why he cried and why he's emotional and why he co- comes from where he comes from and why he does what he does. And there's the utmost respect and love for the bro. Um, I, he's well deserved. He deserves everything he's got. Um, and to, for them to throw shade like that without even knowing the context or the story of why he did what he did and what he was saying. The, the, the context was, was on the video and they still worded mm-hmm. the caption that way. Like why? Instead of, instead of celebrating with him, they, they throw questioned shade at him. Yeah. 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 Why would you? Why would you? Que- you can't question another man's happiness. You know what I'm saying? You can't question another man's fulfillment. Like what? What you get out of whatever you do is for you, and what other people get out of what they do is for them. 
to to yeah. call into question to invite the bullshit in because we know how it go. We we know how it's going to go in the comments. Now you just you you giving people ammunition to shoot at him on purpose. This is caught chasing in a motherfucker, and this ain't the first time. That kicks on fire. Kicks on fire is questioned daily for the the post that they make. If you go in their comments, most of the time I don't even hit the like button. Some of the shit might be a little interesting or a little funny, but I see the the hate and the shade in a lot of their posts. I, I I've said before, some of these sneaker media outlets, blah blah blah. When I say that. Kicks on Fire is one of them. I just didn't want to say their name. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to mention them by name, but now I feel like I have to because Polar is the subject here. And and I'm not finna put up with no disrespect on, on bro. Like, that's that's some bullshit. 2-6, six, 2-6, six, 2-6. Six, six. Right, sus files. You're sus if you're rage baiting to get clicks because you can't make content. Simple as. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. Simple. That's exactly what it is. And this is, a, this is a direct lift from Got Souls page to their page. They didn't change the video at all. They just lifted it and put it on their mm-hmm. page and put a goofy ass caption on it. You know, you know what? It, it's so easy. Uh, it's so disrespectful. It's so easy. To just get, this is the same. Look, this is the same thing that happened between, like, similar to what happened with uh, the UA situation that we was at. Because Polar added me and said, "Oh, do you know this guy?" The same situation, right? Um, if you feel if you ain't got no content and you're rage baiting or just uh, ripping off somebody else's content just to shit on somebody, <laughs> you shouldn't be on social media. Simple as you're you're an idiot. You need to be off social media and you need to just stop what you're doing because you haven't got a brain cell in your in your skull to actually make your own original content. Would you rather share it from somebody else? That's actually annoyed me, bro. Try the polar bear uh, MDK man. Fuck. Yeah. It's on fire. Yeah, agree, hundred percent. You know what? In actual fact, everybody that's listening to this, you need to go and follow Kicks on Fire. Yeah, Simple. I don't even know if I follow them. I know they come across my feed just because sneaker shit, but let me make sure I don't. That's disrespectful, bro. That's totally disrespectful. And the thing is, you you're, you don't know anything about anybody that you're posting about. That's the worst thing about it, because you don't know what their mental state was at that at that time and point. But I just I just hate hate content jacking and without tagging. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're gonna clip me, bro, tag me, bro. At least give me a chance mm-hmm. to see what you what you trying to make me look like. You know what I mean? But that's just lack of integrity, sucker shit, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you on that. That's, that's, that's what I got on that, man. Disrespectful. And I Bruh. did. I tagged Polar. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't say nothing. I didn't send him no message or nothing. I just tagged him, and um, to make sure he can see it. I'm pretty sure he, you know, it'll come across his feed at some point. But I just wanted to make sure he saw it, and uh, you know, he can. Uh, I, I'm I'm interested in his reaction. I, I, I'll, I'll reach out to him after this and ask him because he was you're know, pop po, I met I, I've, I'm we lucky just lost Kick Lord too bro like come mm-hmm. on man mm-hmm. I was I was lucky enough to re- uh, meet Polar in London. Um, he came another time this, recently as well. I, I missed him this time, but hopefully when when he does make an appearance again, I'll go and see him. He is he the thing is he's such a lovely guy. Absolutely amazing. Uh, you meet him in person, it's exactly the same person in, in real life as he is on, online. Um, beautiful person, yeah, beautiful spirit. And I just don't understand why people kind of want to take shots with somebody's success. Or in extra fact, that I don't, sorry, sorry to go on a tangent. I don't understand why people don't work harder to get to where they need to be. And then they rather throw shade on somebody else because they're doing it. They're doing what you're supposed to be doing. That, that that that's a real myth to me, bro. Absolutely. There's unmitigated hate, man. <laughs> Most of the time, hate is unmitigated, though. Yeah, I I hope he gets another bl- air mag. I hope he gets another air mag, another ten, so he rubs it in your face. F that. 
Yeah, man. Enough about them. Shout out to Polo. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to Ro. Hey, <laughs> that took a left turn. <laughs> Yo, bro, just, just like I'm gonna tell everybody, just do the best things you can do to improve your life. Don't look at other people's lives. It's like it's not worth it. Just do what you need to do to progress in your situation to make it better. That's right. that's the right way to do things. Right. This to hey, the man. Um, the truth. <laughs> bro. It, it is what it is, but like, bro. Um, other than that, um, we saw a lot of uh, sneaker. Um, to go to a positive note, we saw a lot of sneaker. Uh, Halloween sneakers. I dropped. I dropped my set. Um, a few. A lot of people were gravitated to the to the AR stuff and the Halloween AR stuff, which is nice. Um, people were like, oh yeah, I like the Chuckies. I like the plums. I I, I for for a joke, I was bored because I was I was waiting for my missus to uh, get everything together in terms of the decoration for the Halloween stuff. So I was like. I'm bored. My mates are about an hour away. What can I do? And I just slammed out like a um a fruit collection. <laughs> so I thought, I thought my stories, I thought my stories, remember to eat your fruits. And I did a Jordan 1, Jordan 2, Jordan 3, all the way up to Jordan 6, all the like bananas, plums, apples, strawberries, cherries. <laughs> you was right, bro. I'm going to say, you was right. <laughs> I knew it. You ain't got to tell me I was right. I know I was. <laughs> You was already there when I said it. <laughs> it wasn't no prediction. That was just <laughs> that was me assessing the situation. <laughs> you was already there. It wasn't no, you know it so wasn't well. no guesstimation. It wasn't no guesstimation needed. It wasn't no no <laughs> nah, no investigation required, bro. It was, hey, you was already there. Guilty red handed. I knew it. You had already you had already lit my phone up for like two nights in a row. Like Oh, oh bro! Oh, it was it was it was my uh, actually uh, AI is is um great. I'm using some of the AI I'm using for YouTube descriptions as well, which is great because I just put in I'm doing a review for this. Give me a description. I use some of the information for the description in there, which is great. You, now um, you're saying too much. <laughs> Yo, shh, shh. but also also it <laughs> but also it was it was. That, that, but it's also it was my mate's birthday today as the time of recording. Um, uh, ironically, when my, when my girlfriend first saw my mate when we were trading, first, first time she met him, she was like, who's that guy? He's like, he's tall, he's a tall guy. He's a really tall guy, six foot seven, built, built, really, really built. Um, and he's, he had a little quiff at the front. She goes, she goes, he looks like Superman. And ever since then, we've been calling him. Superman, right? But his his name starts with M. So what I did with in uh, in AI is make a uh, M version of Superman with Happy Birthday and sent it to him, right? <laughs> and he was like, "What's that? Is that is that me?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah. Is, is this your birthday? Happy Birthday!" So AI is absolutely inventive. You can do pretty much a lot of things with that if you wanted to, but you have to put in like Q was always telling me, you have to be accurate with the descriptions to what you want it to because it will go on a different tangent to what you want it to do. But it's great. Yeah. It's definitely great. I'm having fun with it. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> um, right <laughs> shall we get into the nitty gritty today bro <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's do some quick strikes before it's too late <laughs> <Yeah>. alright cool <laughs> what we got for the day uh, it's finally over between Mr. Jesus and uh, Adidas. The settlement is over. Adidas and Ye reach settlement to end legal disputes over the Yeezy split. It's being reported by Billboard. It's about as official as you can get. So, um, apparently, the losses were split 50-50. Mm-hmm. Um, in in some of the cases, Yeezy won, and some of the cases, Adidas won. Oh, okay, I think. Um, and I didn't read the full article, but the number uh, uh, they were trying to lean on was one point three billion in losses. In losses, okay, all right, yeah. So, 
that's hard to believe. I mean, I guess when you factor in everything, you know, you factor in materials mm-hmm. and production and blah, 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 blah. Was that 650 million each then? Yeah, 655 million. Okay. Um, it's it's a lot of legal mumbo jumbo mixed up in there, but I'm just glad it's over, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's so the so the so the intellectual property is there's no value like let's just be honest right this moment time there's no real value in, in Yeezy's intellectual property with the silhouettes because they're not doing well. So maybe Kanye looked at that and thought, "Okay, what well, am I contesting?" Because they, I think, it's really no hype for these Yeezys anymore. Yeah. So what do I get from this? Yeah, I think the the disassociation with him caused that. Um, yeah. He could have he could have stayed with Adidas and not did anything for two years and the hype would have maintained like all the stuff that they ended up dropping. <laughs> let's, let's say they put him in timeout similar to how uh, Nike did Travis. Let's say Adidas put him in timeout for two years. No knew nothing, but we're going to drop, we're going to drop the stuff that we got, but nothing new. You, we don't need no commercials. We don't need no, don't even talk about it. Let's say, that Yeezy was uh, stable enough to abide by those rules, which I doubt. But let's hypothetically, hypothetically, I agree. I agree. <laughs> you I, know I agree. what I'm saying? <laughs> he don't say nothing. He don't speak out or nothing. He just take his his little time out, and he gone with his music. And when it's time to go back to sneakers, we go back to sneakers. I, I feel like. Adidas wouldn't be in this place right now. Like Yeezys wouldn't be available for thirty and forty dollars, eighty dollars, stuff like that. Like the stuff that you saw when you now, went did, to the Adidas. So, yeah, the, um, I went to Sports Direct. I saw a lot of Yeezys uh, for. Well, the, to be honest, um, I went to uh, the Adidas outlet. They were going for like eighty pounds. Um, some of the silhouettes, some of the less preferred silhouettes, were going for that price. Um, went to Sports Direct. They were reselling slides, which is crazy. Um, if you if you guys don't in the states don't know sports directs sports directs is not like top tier kind of like even JD's top t- a bit of a better tier in terms of the sneakers they've released um just not for locker tier it's not like size or end clothing tier this is like bottom like tier a and I'm shoe carnival or famous footwear yeah, yeah. or something Co- like that yeah like the compar- yeah that that, that comparison. Um, so that's, that's where they were selling. Um, another news I saw recently is, um, there's a full stock, stock size running China for these Yeezys in store as well. So there's a lot of Yeezys and I was surprised to see the pirate blacks on, on sitting, um, in lower sizes, but they were still sitting. I, I won't be surprised somewhere turtle doves are still sitting. So that, that's really surprising. These are iconic grails in, in the past, which is yeah. crazy. So it's, it's a massive, Fall off. What's the? Uh, have you have you checked the recent resale on Yeezys? <clears throat> yeah, the part the pirate blacks are, are just above retail at this moment in time. For from what I checked, and uh, I'm not sure about total dubs, but there's no there's no real resale on some of the lesser coveted pairs. More coveted pairs like zebras, you still got a good resale on them. Three hundred, you're still looking at three hundred. Um, this is only because I checked the other day. Um, just to see what they were doing, and I'm just curious of what how the market maneuvers. Just that's and that's the only reason why I checked. But yeah, it's, bro, like the fall off has been crazy, and these mm. these pairs were coveted, bro, massively coveted. They're still expensive, but not as expensive as they used to be. Uh, Turtle mm-hmm. doves, you get a pair for four hundred. Yep, they was they were more than that. I mean, Do, I'm guessing they were they were at least one to two k. When okay. when before yeah. the re-release, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a massive fall off, bro. So, hey, um, what does that mean between the relationship between Adidas and Kanye? I think it means more for Adidas than it does for him because he already uh, moved on. I don't think any other footwear companies really checking for him. 
in in the way that they they would have been before all this controversy. I don't think he's. Um, I don't know. I know. I know Adidas happy to, to to be able to just wash their hands with it and keep it moving, and I'm pretty sure he feels the same way. That's just one less court case to deal with. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I I think I think they won't, I don't think there's a, a reunion in in the cards for the between them. But I no, think yeah. Adidas said no. No, I just know it's toxic. Is and I don't think a lot of people want to work with Kanye because of the fact that he's had situations with Nike and Adidas, and he's walked away in broken relationship with both of them. Uh, I think Nike was more more creative, and Adidas was more what we saw recently, which is more polit- political, which is crazy when you talk think about it. But yeah, K- Kanye is not the right. I don't know. I, I I I wish he wasn't though. I wish he wasn't the, the person he is, and he was more stable because we would see more magnificence from him. But we're not because he's not that type of person. That's stuff, and that's unfortunate. You you you, you, can, you can you understand what I'm trying to say? <laughs> yeah. Because I think he's I think he's I think he's got a lot more in him, but it's 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 his mental health that's causing the issues that he's got to not be able to produce what he's able to produce. Uh, I ain't going to say his mental health. He just, he's incorrigible. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> That's the word for him. Incorrigible. Like, yeah. you can't, you can't tell him nothing. I don't think you ever could. Like, when, when people tell old stories about him it's always like he telling you something that you don't believe Mm -hmm. and because he became successful it just made it worse he believes his his he believes his thoughts more than anybody else's yeah you know what I'm saying you there's I don't think there's a person on the planet that he feels like can teach him. If he really, really uh, feels like that, because that's how it come off. When he when he speaks, everything is concrete. Everything is a matter of fact, you know, which is, is common for humans, right? Like we all feel like we know what we know. But this dude, the stuff that he talk about and the way he talk about it, it's like, bro, come on, man. You, but he believes it. You can look in his eyes when he's saying it, and you know he <clears> believes it. <laughs> so, I can't, I can't say that's a mental health thing because he function. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, does his passion? Is it more his passion that overrides his? Um, his ability to think clearly. I think it's just if you if you if you're so hyper driven and passionate that you believe what you feel you want to feel to believe, then you don't really see what other people want to say to you and kind of take that critique in. Maybe that's that's reason why he is the person he is. Yeah, that sound mm-hmm. that don't sound too far fetched at all. I just I, I mean. I want to like him, bro. I just he do stuff that made me not like him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. I agree with you fully, fully. I fully agree with you on that. I just like I said at the start of this conversation, I just wish he wasn't the person he is because we'll be seeing so much more <laughs> excellence from him. But like, I want to see. I, I want to see him. No, bro. This is the same guy who produced the Yeezy one and two with Nike. This is the same guy who revolutionized Adidas and gave us the three fifty and the and all the classics of the way. He's this is the guy who actually gave us the Wave Runner that started the big dad of dad sneaker trend. This is this is the guy. This was the guy. And like now we're sitting here thinking, why was he the guy? Because he he like why is he not still the guy? This is this all yeah, really. I'm really. Yeah, he's it's it's like it's almost like he's still the guy, but it's like he's still he's like a gift and a curse. Like it's almost like he was gifted, but he was cursed at the same time. It's like come yeah. on, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, he he think he took the musical past the musical like. 
too many people told him he was a musical genius. So he think it, it carries over to everything else when it don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not every idea is good, bro. I th- he wasn't them type. He feel like every idea he has is good. Yeah, yeah. You I know when I don't have a good idea. Yeah, yeah. You and don't you've told me twice. many times with my ideas. <laughs> you've told you've told me many times with my ideas are not good. <laughs> that's that's why I'm so. To me, I don't have a problem with saying that to a person because I know how many ideas of my own that I turned down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they never come out. Cause yeah. I'm like, nah, that's don't don't say that. <laughs> you know what I'm nah, don't think that. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> the good ideas make it out. And sometimes some of the bad ideas, you know, some of the, some of the bad ideas, they make it. They make it out. <laughs> that don't mean they're supposed to be out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah the neutral yeah. ideas, you know, the neutral <laughs> ideas are the ideas that we all have to be able to make it through the day. You know what I'm saying? One foot in front of the other. One one leg at a time when you're putting your pants on. You know what I'm saying? Put your, put yeah. your underwear on first, then put your pants on. Like them regular ideas, neutral ideas. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 unless you're super bad, <laughs> you can do it the other way. <laughs> Unless Facts. unless you can believe unless you can fly. <laughs> unless you can raise your arms and fly. <laughs> you seen how you we seen how you dress, right? You think you Superman. You think you real life Superman. <laughs> Super yay. <laughs> oh, I love that every time you pull that back. Oh man, I can't believe we produced that. <laughs> and without AI as well. <laughs> nah, it's that's it's some AI in there. All some right, cool, cool. That's when I was on right, my cool. way. That's when I was on my way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. That was that was a cool question. We need to be both on our way soon, bro. <laughs> Nah, Imagine the on. possibilities. I'm getting. I'm gonna be on land. <laughs> you can ride the wave right here. I know you're gonna ride it for a while too. I already know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see where it goes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next question. <All> right. <laughs> uh, winter boots are not the same winter boots that we grew up with. Mm-hmm. I don't know what these these um, brands they we just in the future, man. That's all, that's what it is, bro. It'd be hard for us. It's not as hard as it was for like previous generations. Remember when we were kids and new things came about, and the older people seemed like they were so against everything. You know what I'm saying? Like video games was, was ruining society and. Uh, this technology, everything is, and now you forced to deal with it, and you don't know how to use it because you didn't stay up to date with the times. Some of these people need to let the times just be the times. Mm-hmm. Vans, for instance, Vans, the world loves you. You don't have to do this. You don't have to turn the old school into a hiking shoe. Hmm. Okay. Vans old school hiking shoe. You heard it. Look at it. Look at it. Is go go it, Google uh, it. Google is it, it. Is it what? Is, is it diverse? Is it diversifying the prof- uh, portfolio? It's make a hiking shoe that's not the Vans old school. That's what it is for me. Mm-hmm. Leave the old school alone. I can, I can, I can understand what you're saying, but I, I feel, I feel like, I feel a lot, a lot of these companies don't want to be pigeonholed into being something just. Oh, you mean like Timberlands style. making make making yeah. the six inch boot inflatable? <laughs> Bro, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not necessary. <laughs> That's Timberland not necessary. Bro. <laughs> six inch insulated lace up Vibram 
it's a ja- it's a jacket on your foot. I mean, it's a bubble coat. They turned the boot into a bubble coat. That's what they did. No, that, they they didn't need to do that. What they had a, they had a uh, they had the uh, what do you call it the uh, the woolly in inner lining where you can fold it. You you can actually zip it up the, the six inch high and you can fold it down to be, become a, like a mid. And it yeah. had woolly a uh, wool inner it's lining. That enough. was perfect. You don't it's you don't need enough. to do that. <laughs> it's not enough. You got hey. to turn into a coat, bro. Coat for your feet. Yeah, look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Look at look at how North Face then turned their jacket into a boot. Look at it. <laughs> hmm? Go look it up. Look it up on Instagram. Look it up on TikTok. Look it up. Look it up on YouTube. Look it up on Google. Yahoo, Netscape, AOL, whatever you Safari. Whatever you're using, look it up. Look it up on your phone, your computer, so you can go get you a pair. Because they want you to buy them. It's up to you. I'm not going to buy them, but it's up to you if you're going to buy them. I, I, I can give Van some slack, but the others I don't know about. Like, they just ridiculous. Why would North Face want to put a jacket on their shoes? Like, that, that makes no sense. Bro, you like, want these teams, bro. I know you do, bro. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> what, they what, available, what, what, bro. Like, they ain't number 300. It, 300, uh, yes. $300 is what Timberland wants you to pay <laughs> for jacket boots. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I, that looks horrible as well. Absolutely looks horrible. No, bro. They Look. Come on, bro. You talking about insulation? It, it That's what you want it. You, this is what you want as you a know, Timberland fan. Now you can come back to Timberland, bro. I know you ain't bought no Tims in a while. They finally gave you something to bring you back. This is for you. You you only wearing that if you're at the North Pole. Santa Santa <laughs> presents those. and these elves. That, that bro, like these are the, the Santa if, Tims, ain't they? <laughs> <laughs> these are the Santa Tims. There you. You're right, bro. <laughs> That's the only reason why you're wearing that. That's it, it, it looks. Look, I'm gonna be honest, right? Looking at that f- from a top down, that looks proper cushiony and comfortable. Comfortable, like in terms of just gonna just wrap around bro. your feet. Is that leather? Gaze into yeah, it. Leather. Gaze yeah, into yeah. it. So, ba- so basically, so basically, if you if that ain't leather, I, I, I that's a I couch, bro. Is it, yeah, it's it is. a couch on your foot, bro. Couch. That's what it is. <laughs> Look at it. It's all, t- bro. Come on, bro. The, the on, padding bro. looks like t- three or four times the thickness that it's supposed it looks to be. like you got to go two sizes up just to fit them. <laughs> like, what, what are we doing here, man? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, they made them for you, bro. <laughs> Y'all be y'all be complaining about the weather over there. Yeah, they made them for y'all. No, no, no. Yeah, yo, this they is not, this is not the North Pole or or Alaska. No, yeah. This is this this. this yeah, is not it that is. cold, bro. Like, you, yeah, you can you can wear you can wear a set of Jordan Elevens and you'll be fine, bro. <laughs> bro, they made these for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, okay. Uh, if, if Santa Claus comes down, I'll, I'll leave that. I'll, get you, I'll, 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 get I'll leave that. Recruit, Send me your address. <laughs> if Santa Claus comes down, I'll leave him a set just, just to, just to, <laughs> just to where he can give it to. He can put it on and um, make, keep his feet warm while he's riding a sleigh with his reindeers. Hey, hey that's crazy. That's, 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 what want. that's what y'all want. They got it. Jacket on your boots. <laughs> Well, well, one good thing is that they're innovating. Okay. <laughs> Badly, but they're innovating. <laughs> <laughs> wrong. Y'all doing it wrong, but at least y'all doing it. <laughs> hey, you gotta do something. We gotta go through. We gotta go through the budget somehow. <laughs> Put a jacket on it, bro. Bro, bro, bro. It's 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 like you come up with a hundred ideas. Ninety nine might be trash, but the one idea will make you a billion. Whatever. <laughs> this ain't the one. This is this not the one. the one. This is not the one. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you for a fact. It's not this one. <laughs> hey. 
Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Oh, I, 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 th- I really thought we was onto something when you said Vans hiking boot because I'm I'm still giving slap to that Vans hiking boot because I feel like Vans didn't want to be pigeonholed as being the skaters boots or skater sneakers. So they've actually produced a hiking boot, which is fine. They just need to kind of evolve it a bit more to be look like a bit more of a hiking boot. But when you started putting up like the Tims and the North Face, I was like, now we're going down a rabbit hole that we don't need to be going down. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Jackets on your boots, man. Yeah. That's the new thing. Yeah. For 2025, oh, well, jackets <clears throat> on your boots. Fleece. It'll be fleeces next. Woolly fleeces. <laughs> Everybody can't be Uggs, man. Just let Uggs be Uggs, okay? <laughs> Stay away from yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. You don't yeah, taste exactly. right. <laughs> next quick strike, man. <laughs> Because you got, you t- I mean, you got, we got more from North Face. I mean, this, this might yeah, be the most yeah. shine North Face done got on, on the podcast ever. <laughs> yeah, it, it, look, it looks like um, North Face is um, done with their partnership with uh, Supreme uh, after 17 years of having a collaboration. Um it might be because Supreme's just been sold off and they've kind of, they kind of rebuttaled a like collaboration with North Face. But it's an interesting one because they've produced a lot of epic, uh, I know, iconic merchandise, jackets and all of that stuff. So um, how do you feel about it? Uh, I wonder because North Face... Um, North Face don't present urban, right? Mm-mm. But they 100% know what the urban community um, does with North Face. And I feel like it's acknowledged through what they release. Um, they don't, they don't, I've never seen anything like clownish or disrespectful from North Face. I'd never seen anything that made me feel like they was reaching. Um, the collaboration with Supreme only um, increased their, their their reputation in streetwear. And the notoriety. But they, but they both excelled each other. Like, like we saw the LV collection with Supreme, and I think that was more um, Supreme taking away, taking into the higher end fashion. And I, I thought everything that Supreme done with LV and North Face has been epic to me. I've appreciated it from this side. I've never wanted to get it, but I've appreciated what they've done from this side because it's brought brought them to the forefront. And that wave with Supreme was a thing. Like it, mm-hmm. and North Face is iconic here like they, they, every, it's, sought, it's very sought after in the UK I don't know how, yeah. what, what the kind of I don't know how it is in the US but it's very sought after in the UK um, even my, my girlfriend's sisters like North Face I want to get this jacket they, they're epic and for Supreme to kind of do that collaboration for the last 17 years we've seen so many iconic pieces it's sad to see I'm, I'm going to be honest it's sad to see uh, but like you said Supreme ain't what it used to be. They not they not ran, being ran in the same way, you know. They're not being curated by the same creators. So North Face, the people at North Face might feel like, all right, we ain't we ain't, this don't feel right. Uh, I don't like mm-hmm. working with this person versus the person I used to work with. So yeah. It, it, I I get it. Cause a lot of Supreme heads been complaining about Supreme releases for a long time now. You know, since since people left and and the company got sold and all that. They they clowning the draw when these um when these previews and collect of of some of these collections drop, Twitter comments on fire. It's jokes, boy. I'm talking about it, mm-hmm. it's jokes and and criticism. And you go, you know, check up on some of these people who are talking crazy about the releases. They not they not new. They not they not uh, passerbys. No, they locked in. These are the supreme supporters. 
who talking crazy about this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't even find this stuff. This is not the stuff that's coming across your normal sneakerhead feed. This is Supreme specific stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like the average person ain't got the Supreme app on their phone. So when right. the people in, uh, in, in that culture, in that subculture are talking crazy, you know, it's a problem. All right. So, so do you, do you think North Face is a direct competition of Timberland? Do you feel like it's no. like in terms of, all right, cool. Because the only reason why I say that, that F, VF Corporation actually owns Timberland and Vans and they've cut their relationship with North Face. So are we expecting to see Supreme and Timberland take that collaboration up? Are we expecting to see more Vans and Supreme come just out that. in terms of? Hmm? I mean, we don't, bro, it's Supreme. Like that's, that would be, that would be counterproductive to, I think this is counterproductive. But whose decision was yeah. it? Was it a Supreme decision or was it a no face decision? Was it a mutual, quote unquote, mutual decision? Um Supreme collabs with everybody. You know. They they don't they tend not to collab with competitors of their major collaborators, which I think is smart too. Excuse mm-hmm. me, but um Supreme and Tim going to always work. Like, it, it it might not be all the time, it's like, but it's like Supreme and Nike. You know, you can expect to see something from Supreme and Nike almost every year. Yeah, the the perfect the perfect word for that is to cut in your, uh, cut in your nose to spite your face. Um, yeah. I feel like... I feel like it's gone. It's it's kind of gone backwards with that with that whole collaboration. Um, I I I have a feeling it's it's the corporation that bought Supreme that has actually kind of made that decision rather than um rather than North Face. I I feel like North Face would have kept on that collaboration, and maybe they came to a mutual agreement, like you probably said. But I, I think it was instigated from that takeover. I think it would be the other way around, more likely, that North Face would um choose to. Cut ties. Okay. I think North 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 Face is, is just one of them brands that's going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's not about hype or uh, publicity with North Face. People are just going to buy it because it's it's reliable. It's one of them brands that you've seen since you was a kid. How many generations can say that now? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> is more generations mm-hmm. going to say they grew up seeing North Face versus they grew up seeing Supreme? Yeah, 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 yeah. And especially with Supreme being like on a down spell right now, because they they rely on height being the type of brand that it is, the height not being as 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 high as it is right now, I think hurts versus a North Face that don't rely on height. Yeah, North Face North Face just keep quiet. Um North Face reminds me of Palace. They just keep quiet, keep producing stuff. Keep releasing stuff. People keep keep people keep buying stuff. Supreme, from where it came from, and the way it got thrust into the into the limelight was because yeah, look, like, if we're talking about 2016, 2017, Supreme was the hype beast brand. Yeah. So that that's where we that's what we're coming from from the angle we're coming from. Yeah, it's a lot more um, hype boutique brands now like they, that that space is starting to get way more crowded you know with Stone Island and I'm on my year and you know what I'm saying mm, <coughs> excuse very me much so. Bape, very much so you know Bape still still hanging around um Cortese like it's a lot Pata all these, these undefeated boutiques undefeated all these <laughs> boutiques popping up and they winning you know what I'm saying and plus, you got you got to compete with the artists too. Now you got to compete with the Travis. You got to compete with the, you know, what I mean, Union. Soleil. You got to, you got to compete Bronson. with Soleil. Yeah. I, I, there's too many <laughs> fresh goods, bro. You know what I'm saying? For one thing, I'll say it's a beautiful thing to be a, a fashion fashionista or a sneakerhead. It like the amount of people that are collaborating with brands is is peak time. Lot. Peak time. Mm-hmm. I'm awake. Awake. Uh, air shoes just dropped the blue ones. Like it's, it's a corporate got them air shoes. Look at all the airships we got. 
yeah. every time yeah. a different collaborator and then a fire uh GR to go along with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, and the merch, all the merch that comes with that as well. <laughs> Everybody had merch. By the, by the way, the Awake, uh, the new Awake airship, I don't know whether it's going to come globally because at the moment it's only an Awake release. <laughs> So I need to maneuver to get that one. <laughs> let me know. I will let you know. I I'm, I think I want to wait two or three weeks and see what happens because we, we, we know what happened with the first release. The first release came oh, to the sad. boutique. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, the blue, it's, the blue I don't pair. know if Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think the, re, the resale is not doing much anyway. I, I do hope that in the two weeks time we have notification that it comes out in the UK, but I'm not too sure. We'll, we'll wait to see what happens with that one. Definitely wait to I see. No, we didn't with that see one. it. <laughs> Number fourteen thing said. Oh yeah, that. Uh, by the way, sh- uh, shout out to Anish. He actually copped a pair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done, bro. <laughs> he was he, he was like he was so worried with that, bro. He was like, um, uh, I, 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 I'm trying to get these fourteen black toes. I was like, yeah, it's all fine. That's fine. If you want, like, you get I'm, I'm there. Yeah, that's how you get them. You got to worry about them. Yeah. If you ain't worried about getting them. You ain't trying to get <laughs> the same. The same way I was worried about that Amman United Five is the same way Anish was worried about his his full teens. It's good. It, it, it's good to hear that the person that wanted the, the sneaker the most actually was able to cop the sneaker. And well done to you, bro. Hope you do get enjoy them when they come as well because it's going to be absolutely fantastic, bro. If you ain't if you ain't nervous about getting the shoe, that's. Mm. That's a that's that's that one way. You. That's one way to know if you're a sneakerhead. If you get nervous about copping a sneaker, mm. you if you're not, I'm gonna finish that sentence. I definitely want to finish that sentence for you. If you ain't nervous about getting a shoe, then it was never meant for you. Right. This is the hey. awake airship. All right, we might need to move. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will. Let, I will let you know in two weeks, bro. If it's still sticking around in two to three weeks, I will let you know, bro. <laughs> Full size. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Because I, I do feel the resale price is going to drop on that. At the moment, the resale price isn't a huge on on that at the moment as well. So, um, I'll keep an eye on it. Uh, if it comes out to the UK, I will definitely copy it. But if it doesn't, I will maneuver and then we'll have a conversation. But that's how we do oh, it. That's how we do it. Oh, live, oh, live oh, discussions. Oh, yeah, yeah. To the he laughing. Kicks it in Polo the kicks laughing the pose. Kicks, it. Oh, kicks cool. on fire pose. He said it's still going around laughing emojis. <laughs> bro, bro. He just fold off his shoulders. That's fine. That's fine. Well, we got his back anyway, either way. Yeah. No doubt. Shout out to Polo. Yeah, shout out to the bro. Next quick strike. Speaking of Cortez. Hey. Clint then uh he didn't drop some exclusives, man. Yeah. I like the way he did it though. I like the way he did it. He literally I think he was it his mate or him? One of the two literally went to the went to into into the house, opened up the shoebox and just pulled out the court the Harachis, um uh Cortese Rule the World R T R T W on the back of that, a grey variation. I'm hearing it's the twenty third of November. It's I think, I think it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Rumors are flying. <laughs> um <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know what y'all. I ain't. I ain't. You want me to talk about this? I'm supposed to. Yeah, let's 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 let's, let's, let me describe it for the audio audio listeners. Right, cool. The the sneakers uh, pretty much got a gum out so looks like a gum out so semi gum out so with grey pretty much like mostly light smoke grey with suede on it it's, it's suede is look like looks like it's absolutely buttery Her, like if just it's just gorgeous gorgeous there you go that's that's what that's the clip I was talking about bro they won't play for some reason nah it's fine yeah uh, camo on the booty on the, uh, mm-hmm. you, we know this just the Hirachi uh, the Hirachi trainers by the way not the Hirachi high uh, basketball shoes mm-hmm. the Hirachi trainer version with the big strap he got um, camo all over the booty 
I mean, Cortez on the, the um, yeah, Swoosh Cortez on the, on the, on the, on the Hirachi, um, emblem on the tongue. Like, it's these. Let me see if I can get some, some different pictures because I know I saw more pictures of it. Yeah, I don't it's a, a video. It was only, it was only. A week we ago, or two, or two weeks ago, that we we were talking about the Cortez um, ninety five, and then we were saying well, the Harachi, the Harachis have gone quiet, the Harachi train has gone quiet, and all of a sudden, bang! Two weeks later, <laughs> here you go, guys, and you were talking about this, <laughs> you were talking about this. <laughs> yeah, man. Is was it? What's the official name to it? It was at the top. The Nike Air Trainer Harachi Flat Pewter. That's mm. what you guys need to Google to see anything about this. Bro, it's beautiful. The strap's beautiful. The Harachi, whole Harachi trainer's beautiful. It is, it is a very good looking sneaker, bro. Yeah, he got extra stitches on the toe. But like, um, these ain't these ain't my favorite Harachi silhouette, but it's definitely one of the, the classics. Um, yeah, man, this is a problem. <laughs> hey, this is the cool tees on the strap. I just noticed yeah. that the cool tees on the strap. Yeah, he got his logo That's on ridiculous. the strap instead of the swoosh. Uh, got his name <laughs> on the Harashi logo, like I said. I mean, yeah, it's it's ain't 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 nothing to talk about, man. Just they coming, they coming. They coming. Like like I said, um. Uh, shout out to Anish actually. He told he told me that it's rumored to be on the twenty third of November. Let's see what if it's that if it is that date. Um, if it is that date, get yourself prepared for that date. <laughs> if it isn't that date, just keep your ears to the ground and you keep gonna, listening. You ain't gonna see this sneaker, bro. This 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 is one of the shoes that you if, when you see it, you know you're dealing with a serious sneaker head. Mm-hmm. This ain't this ain't one of them play play shoes right here, bro. This. Yeah. First yeah. of all, it's the the Harashi Trainer silhouette. The only sneakerheads run into that silhouette. Mm-hmm. You know, that's 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 one of the ones that and I wouldn't be surprised if Nike go ahead and start dropping the GRs but, uh off the back of this collab. They're not gonna be flying off the shelf like that. You're gonna see OGs and sneakerheads wearing them. The, the you, youth culture. You I can't see the youth culture uh, jumping on this unless they know how exclusive it is. Do 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 you think? All right, cool. This is a silly question, but I, I know what you're going to say. Do you think it's going to? Is it obviously it's going to be? Uh, I, obviously, I think it's going to be more more exclusive. Uh, obviously, I think there's going to be a low low stock to this because it's yeah. it's reintroducing that silhouette again. Do you think this would do well in terms of just every single pair that comes out from Cortez is just going to sell out, sell out, sell out? I hope so. Um, Because he he's doing it he's doing it in a tastefully hype way. If that makes sense. Like he not he not rushing to drop nothing. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. Not even, not even the 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 brand merch. You know what I'm saying? Like when he dropped, it it come and it's gone. You know what I'm saying? And then he he's see, chilling. See, I I kind of Cortez has got the youth culture in a grip anyway. Like with with yeah. some of the stuff he's doing, I kind of think he, he. I think the youth will still go for this because no, I'm I'm saying this, yeah. But I'm talking yeah. about the trainer, about the Harachi GR. trainer silhouette GR. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like Nike should come behind this with the GRs, OG colorways mm-hmm. and whatnot. You know, of course, new colorways or whatever. Not at, at a Donahoe rate, but, you know, here and there, you know, every couple of months, he go another Harachi trainer. But I don't think the young people will be on those just because Cortez did it first is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. It's gonna, it's gonna resemble what uh, the uh, the Jordan Four RMs do. That the Sanaji Sylvester's yeah. green variation sold out. The green variation sold out. The black variation still sitting, but the GRs been sat 
every single one of them sitting. Right. So it's gonna do that same thing, pretty much. Right. But I think it'll it the OG aspect of it will help it sell. Like I said, it'll be OGs and some long time sneakerheads that'll get those. You know what I mean? The casual young yeah. people and all that, not so much. I, I might, I might, cop, uh, depending on the colorway, I might cop a couple of GRs. If they do, if they do that, I might oh. actually cop a couple of GRs. It's it's a dope sneaker, bro. Like the um, mm-hmm. uh, what's the colorway? It's a white, blue, and gray colorway I had back in the day. Isn't Ben looking forward to one those of those? Games. Yeah, yeah, Benji. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Ben, ben not Benji, not also, Benji. So. Ben, Ben, my bad. Yeah, Ben. Benzino. Benzino, yeah. Yeah. Ironically, right, he, was on, he was on me and Cam's. Uh, yeah, ironically, he was on me and Cam's live the other day. Um, Well, not came on, but he was on the comments. So it's good to see. Uh, I need to catch up with him. I need to definitely catch up with Benzino one day. Oh, for sure. We need to come on the party again. Yeah, yeah, I'll give him a shout. <laughs> I'd be interested to hear his takes. All right, was that all the quick strats for this week? It was. E, so we move on to our main topic today. So this main topic is um so this week Frank Cook basically uh tweeted out or put not tweeted out, put on his put on his Instagram this comment. And you know you're gonna love this, bro. You're gonna love this because tell the people what sneaker that is. Because I know what that is. That is the Nike. SC High Olympic 96 Atlanta joints. Hey. <laughs> That's fire. That's absolutely fire. Um, so he tweeted out this week. He said, I hope everybody is enjoying this time because another era of real sneaker and true storytelling is about to return. Hashtag the saying. swoosh back. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm so saying. I saw, I saw this and I was like, "Yo, that's fire!" Because we talked about Frank Cook coming back, or oh, well, officially coming back to the creative side of it and doing and doing stuff with Nike a bit more. What's your expectations? I want to get your opinion on what you what you would like to happen. This is what I've been asking for. This is what a lot of uh, the just the the long time sneaker fans, not even sneaker heads, the 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 nostalgia that we wish we run back to every time. The I remember stories that we tell all the time. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. He's talking about refreshing the old memories with a, a newer version of the product. You know what I'm saying? Trying to bring back the feeling. That's all. I know that's all yeah. he's been talking about since we, we got news that he was coming back. That's the first thing he said, bringing back the feeling. You know what I'm saying? Bringing back the love within the culture for the things that we all appreciate. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah. I've been I've been I've been trying to convey in recent months. It's just opinions, bro. Like we we not it's not about you when we say we don't like something. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we know everything that we like ain't gonna be like, and it's fine. We just want we want to have a conversation. R.P. Clark Kent. We just love to have conversations about it. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. all do. Yeah. We know when we see y'all outside, y'all be ready to talk about it. Everybody at work, we talking about it on the phone. My family, my cousin. You know what I'm saying? Talk to my cousin. Uh, every time I talk to my cousin, we're going to talk about it. I just talked to Retro Rick the other day. Shout out to Retro Rick. Um, Shout out to bro. We're going we gonna to always, even if we ain't, that ain't what the phone call is about. We're going to end up talking about it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, yeah. Give us something to get. We need the things to be able to talk. We need the excitement. 
we need the excitement. Yeah. We need that excitement back. That that feeling of we, like I remember. I remember when the free throw line freeze came out, right? And I, so the, you, the energy, so the energy, the energy, energy, energy was like fantastic. Like that whole range was fantastic. Um, when they did what they did, right? And then I, 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 I absolutely loved that, right? Um, and it was absolutely awesome. Um. And when the free throw lines came out, the storyline was oh Jordan at the, the in the dunk contest and it's jumping off that free throw line and there's a there's a there's a red stripe on the a, a translucent out so for that it just it just basically drew you in like yo I want that sneaker this is iconic you know what I'm saying like with, with the shot back ball with, with Jordan dunking all of that stuff all that storytelling was encapsulated into that sneaker like we see that in 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 terms of some of the releases like the like the lost and found Chicago lost and found the fact that the sneaker was lost even the even the black toe reimagined black toe the fact that jordan signed the sneaker both sides of the sneakers we got one on the left um it was the original og pair that and the new all the inscriptions and that storytelling that's that's the fascination of putting yourself at that moment to see the greatness of an athlete and you're like i need that because that's memorabilia i think sneakerhead especially ogs especially if you know it and culturally know it you gravitate to nostalgia and or memorabilia because you want to be part of that history and that and you want to be at that moment and this is what we love and i and i'm, I'm maybe i'm over exaggerating but that's what draws me sometimes to a sneaker so a new silhouette a new way it's designed a new way it's been constructed the, the story behind why it's being constructed like the all fight jordan 2 like when they constructed the lows and it was like the Virgil did the distressing on that sneaker. There was a story behind that. The reason yeah. why it's done that way, the reason why that's what we love. And unfortunately, the general public don't understand that. And this is why we they think we're crazy and we we, we we don't understand why we go and gravitate to the sneakers we gravitate to sometimes. But that's the excitement we're looking for. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm I mean I'm excited right this moment in time, bro. Yeah. You talk yourself into it because it's just, bro. At, at based based on what we got from the last uh, set of leaderships, and then you look at before that, and it's like a, a grass is greener, or the grass was greener. And now we're looking ahead and hoping that the, this next set of grass is greener than the grass that we just came from. <laughs> you know what I'm we want it to be as but, green as the grass that we used to have. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we, but but we know the grass that was greener before has it was the same farmers that are coming. There you go. coming through now. Exactly. So there that now go. we're like, you guys did it before. You better come and do it now again. See mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That, that's mm-hmm. that's what we're excited about. Yeah. So it's like I, when, I, your, I, I when want, your yard man tell you he getting out of business, it's like, oh, now I'm going. Oh, now nah. my grass gonna be <laughs> fucked up. So you find the yeah, right yard they, they, man. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that that that's that's what we that's like. I don't I don't I don't mind if they do regional releases like they used to. I don't mind if the COJPs come out with more regional releases for COJPs. I don't mind that because it just brings back the the desirability of the sneakers. It brings back some of the hype on sneakers. It brings back the the urgency to hustle and to grind and to like maneuver in a certain way to get sneakers. And that's the excitement of trying to get an exclusive release and it makes this i i understand why they have like the wu-tang dunks seems to be like a bit of a gr release right and it's people saying it's taken away from the nostalgia from the original wu-tangs i can understand that even at the fear pack i can understand that but if they start producing sneakers that are more coveted and more desirable because of the story, before because of the nostalgia, and because it brings more meaning to that sneaker, then yeah, hundred percent, do it. Just do it. Yeah, I mean, the re- the reason's gonna be whatever the whatever they, whatever they are at the end of the day, man. Like, just 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 make it make sense, bro. Like you were saying about the regional releases. We had them still, but it just wasn't the same. Just none of the 
a lot of the stuff didn't hit the same. The, the, the things that hit the way they were supposed to did. You know, the OGs coming back. Um, you know, certain out there colorways and certain um, top tier collabs. Like, yeah, all that stuff going to hit. But then I think about um, when, I, when you say a reason to release I just started thinking about the sneaker that brought us together, the um, the K fifty four fives, you know what I'm saying? Like that's mm-hmm. that stuff, yeah, it's gonna be there. The 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 year of the dragon, um, was them Jordan? Was it the year of the dragon? From Jordan twenty threes, I was trying to get last year. They only end up they dropped in the Philippines exclusive, I think, and so a couple other countries. But yeah, stuff like that is gonna happen. It's the it's the rest, the stuff in between that they've been fumbling for years. And we got it. We got to gotta make it make sense. Yeah, how many Jordan ones or, or how many Jordans have they released and just dropped without any meaning? And you're like, okay, just GR. But, 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 but like, it, it, I'm gonna say I've slowed down in picking up some of these GRs, and I've, I've shipped my some of the stuff I've picked up since like July, August time. It hasn't been a lot. It's been like collabs. Some of the some of the stuff has been collabs, like all the Amamania collabs and Nina Chanel collabs, the Balvin collabs, because they they it's a collaboration. It's got some like you, Balvin's had some meaning to it. Nina's had some meaning to it. The design aspect was great as well, and all of that, all of that kind of confounded into what it's supposed to be and what it came to be. But we want that excitement back. We really need to develop that excitement and uh, need for having exclusivity to the brand and that drives more it drives the brand as well as the people to go and get that sneaker you see what I'm feeling yeah yeah I mean it, I've done the same I haven't um, it's not that I don't like GRs I always go back to the color thing it's, it's that definitely but it's something else too it's it's the lack of quality that we started seeing with a lot of the GRs kept me away from going for certain stuff too. And also, um, like you said, the meaning, the the reason. Like, okay, it's it's cool looking, it's nice, nice color, or whatever. But I already, I got some in that color that has a story, that has a meaning, that you know, what I'm saying, it made sense to me. Yeah, so I, I was like, for instance, I was doing, we, me and Cam did a live on Saturday and he pulled out the Jackie Robson, he pulled out the, um, what do you call it? The Born and Raised and he pulled out another, another silhouette and they all look the same. They all did like the, that blue colorway with white tones and stuff like that. And they all look the same. And Cam's like, I, I understand these, all of these have got meaning, but they all look the same. So why would I buy the same colorway continuously? Like, the, I think having the right team on board with the right colorways, with the right combos, with the right different accents and touches to it makes a sneaker, makes and breaks a sneaker. Like having, releasing all of these colors that are the same and just dropping them and giving them to you, you're like, now you've got choices. Do I need this one and this one? Because some of the meanings don't resonate to other people. Mm-hmm. So you need to have the right, com- right kind of creative aspect to it as well. Yeah. And then there's Nike ID. <laughs> how, how do you yeah, exactly? How do you sort that? How do you sort that Nike ID? Uh, do you what would you like to see from going forwards in terms of the Nike ID or Nike by you? Just more silhouettes. Just more silhouettes, bro. I mean. I want retros more than just again Dunks, Air Force Ones, Blazers. They got ninety five. They keep ninety fives on there. They've managed to keep um, Air Max Ones on there since you know the hype for the Air Max One died. Um, they got Cortezes on there, which I think is dope. Um, and the rest, of it, I think, is mainly basketball shoes. They got some cleats on there, some running shoes too, like track shoes or whatever. But I, I want to see more retros. Air Max ninety fives are good always. Air Max ones, Air Force ones, and Dunks. Those are all 
great silhouettes to have available as far as retros are concerned and the Cortez. But I'm talking about, you know, put put the SC high on there. Mm-hmm. You know, put it up, put the SC high on there for a month. Wait another month, then throw the trainer one on there for a month. All right, That's take a good that point. off. Rotation. Yeah. You know, like that. Throw throw the throw the Hirachi uh Hirachi basketball, the Hirachi flight on there for a month. You know I what wonder saying? what happened to Yeah, I wonder what happened to the refurbishment plan, the refurbishment program that they were doing. Like that that mm. literally came and went and went quiet. Like wait, wait, where is that? Yeah, they stopped it right before um or during holiday season last year. Around this time last year it stopped. Mm-hmm. I thought it was just going to stop for maybe the beginning of the first quarter, but I ain't mm-hmm. seen or heard nothing else about it. It just went quiet. It just it just went quiet, disappeared. Nothing, nothing. They, they said it was going to stop stop it for a while or postpone it like, either indefinitely or for a period, and it just didn't come back. And they, they launched that with a Mars Yard sneaker as well, didn't they, with, in terms of the refurbishment plan? And then nothing went quiet, absolutely quiet. I remember the Mars Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember somebody I, saying they bought a pair. Yeah, I, I just I just feel like there was so much potential with that in terms of recycling sneakers, refurbishing sneakers, reset like if somebody if somebody came to Nike and said, Oh, I I I need um I need this silhouette and I love this sneaker and the midsole's blown out. Can can you kind of re, like refurbish this? And they say, Oh cool. Like like you go to an Apple shop or, or a Samsung shop and said, My screen's cracked, can you repair this? Mm. They'll go out, give you a cost of repair it. Boom. It's counterproductive. Is it though? Yeah. It's not the same as I bought this shoe and the warranty says it should last this long. So if it's a defect, you replace it. That that's that's the cost of doing business. Actually mm-hmm. repairing people's sneakers, no. Buy more sneakers. And I, I ain't trying to fix your shoes. I got some new they, ones. They, they should do it. <laughs> they should do it <laughs> yeah no 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 but that, that that's that's uh steve, like, i'm gonna say this steve jobs made it really really um difficult for stuff like this to happen because he, it's like yo we'll keep, keep we'll release another release another one make, make stuff that so you easy breakable we, we, we can kind of um give you another one um or you buy another one but when you're talking about coveted pairs that you should only do it for coveted pairs like undefeated fours we're going to get released like next year but I'm talking about if they didn't do that please undefeated fours no, how do you repair that you, you? I know yeah true 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 it opens up business uh, entrepreneuring for other people <laughs> that's, that's what that but if you're a business you want to capitalise on it it ain't worth it mm, true you might be you might be right you might be right you might be right probably but, not worth it I mean, but, I get what you're saying. That's just wishful thinking, though. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wishful thinking is always, um, always, always like the best of every scenario, unfortunately. And yeah, so you, you we, can't we get want. the best of every scenario. Yeah, we want what we want. We want, I want, hell, <laughs> I want to be able to take my old pair of black metallics, not these new ones that's coming. I want to be able to take them to the Nike store and come back in a week. And I'll be able to wear them for another eight years. But no. Yeah. I, I I want a hundred feet to wear all my under hundred DS sneakers. <laughs> but what I but what I can do <laughs> <he's stupid. laughs> but, what, but what I can do is buy a new pair of black metallic fives or another Jordan five with a black bottom and take it to the local customizer or mm-hmm. send it off to a not so local customizer that have them do a soul swap and then I can wear my mm-hmm. black metallic fives again. True, true, true. true. That, that, that's, Nike uh, yeah. For whatever reason, Nike don't want to be the ones to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's weird. Uh, if, bro, if I, if I was, if I was in that situation and I, I was in, look, maybe just, maybe just peanuts to them. But it means a lot to the it means a lot to the community, um, because it means you're still like like we discussed this before, having somebody's logo 
and you're waving it around, it's promotional. So having somebody wear that sneaker that it looks, it's still running, it's still good, it's still promotional. And even though they don't need it, it's still good promotional because when you go out, like you have been, bro, you see all the spectrums. You see the Balenciagas on people's feet that you showed me this week. <laughs> You see, you see the ASICs and you see, you see the proportion of the population that's what they're wearing and you can judge the trend in that area from what they're wearing. So it's, it's, it's a, it is definitely like promoting the brand that you're wearing. But, um, uh, when do you think that. this, yeah, no, it's all, it's they all. jump real high um, and run real fast. The people they tend to pay to do that. Yeah, unfortunately, some some athletes uh, like Devontae Adams basically does the jump man. <laughs> and he's an Adidas athlete. <laughs> oh, no, nah, I'm talking about the LeBrons and the Serenos and the Michael Jordans and the, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Them people. They um, pay them to, to do that. When, when do you think this is going to come into full effect? The whole... Yeah, we're we're back. Like we are starting to do things we used to do when the when the grass was way greener. That's already happening. You just can't tell yet. Okay. I ain't there's no doubt in my mind that um the things some of the things that need to be done are being done. It's just you know, it's not a quick turnaround. Like we were talking about with Miller uh last time he was online with us. Um it's not, it's not, it's a process, you know, it's a process. Things got to be worked out, you know, scheduled, you know, possibly uh, molds being made and, and you know, materials mm-hmm. being sourced and all that, you know, so. So we're talking about six, be... six to yeah, eight I'm so, months or two years? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I agree. But I, agree. I mean, ain't no telling how long these moves, um, the moves that have been made as far as the uh, leadership, ain't no telling how long that's been going on either. Yeah. And we already yeah. got some, we already got some exciting stuff coming up, you know. And some of them, yeah, them it, rumors it, are holding true, you know, white cement fours and uh, diamond turfs and, and and you know stash Air Max ninety five and all that type of stuff. The Wu Tang Dunks that, actually releasing, you know, mm-hmm. Shatterback. That, that's stash night. Yeah, the sta- the bread eighty fives. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, 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 there's a lot. Uh, Black Metallics as well. There's a Black lot. Toes. I, I, yeah, so I, I think I think anybody that's producing a list of what sometimes, um, especially with talking to niche, sometimes when you start producing a list of what you want for next year, you you start to draw your pre- preliminary list at this moment in time, and you, you got to kind of remember some of those get cancelled. You start scribing them mm-hmm. off, so um, it, it's good to start for like foresighting what you might get, but it's it's going to be right this moment in time the transitional phase. We're going to see a lot of sneakers that are supposed to what well, are rumored to be releasing get cancelled and something new pop in so let's see what happens with that let's let's definitely see what happens with that release calendar for 2025 is going to be all over the place i think until things yeah. settle down properly mm-hmm. yeah. yeah but we're excited i hope you guys are excited too because uh if if we if we go back a good 10 years you that that's what we that's what we're heading towards which will be absolutely awesome even longer than that if you that's what we're heading towards so um we're all excited to see what's going to happen and um we're all excited to see what releases we're going to get um don't expect it to be the same as it is today because it's going to be a whole new world and it might be a whole new world i hate her of her i mean so uh, just uh <laughs> just get connected <laughs> one to one <laughs> Okay. What you um, did. What, yeah, what you hit. Um, but yeah, the um, one last thing I'm gonna mention on it. One thing about the one amazing thing about these um uh, being more stuff stuff being more exclusive is the networking that people will have to do in the communications they will have to do for the other people in the area and around the world will bring people closer together. Especially when you're talking to people from like, um, from the States, from China, from, from the Philippines, from, from all around the world. So it's going to be a bit more interesting times. And I think, um, it will bring the community closer together in a way, in a certain aspect. Sure. 
you expect to call for me and Q? <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> right, let's get to the main topic, bro. Oh, <laughs> our main, the main subject. <laughs> no, man. I don't know what's going on out here. I'm just waiting to see. <laughs> when resale is too high. Damn, resale is Hold up, hold up. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beats. Order, order in the court, order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. Welcome back to the Sneaker Court Public Opinion, a public opinion with me, Judge Public Opinion and Executioner. This week there was more rooting, tooting, and looting, and this time <laughs> it was <laughs> it was I like the way we did that. It was um in Los Los Angeles, was it Los Angeles? Downtown Los Angeles. Um so I'm gonna just share this and this happened on the 31st of October. Let me just share this with you guys and I'll play this video and show you what actually happened. <laughs> So this this was downtown Los Angeles. A Nike store on Broadway uh, between 7th and 6th Street was broken into and looted for an hour. Police finally arrived and moved in. At least four people were arrested. Police ha ha then dis dispersed the crowd. This was after the Dodgers celebration. Uh, World Series win, I think. Yeah. And uh, from what I'm looking at, they look they, they, there's a lot of Travis's gone missing in that, in that action release. Look at that, bro. <laughs> oh, That's crazy. crazy. Yes. So 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 this this week um we've had this we had this scenario before. We've had loads of scenarios like this before, uh where people were being gone gone into stores and looted and stuff like that. I can't still believe this is happening. The police took an hour to get there, which is crazy. Cause um Probably because of the mayhem and the, and the actual uh, the Dodgers yeah. winning the World traffic. Series and stuff like that, so it's a lot of yeah. traffic. Yeah, exactly. Um, for the four people that got caught, I hope you get <laughs> I hope the book of a uh, book of uh, sneakers get thrown at you and all the sneakers that you stole get returned. I hope the people that actually stole stuff, um, you don't get no sneaker wins for the rest of your life because <laughs> you're just taking away sneakers from the public. Um, and I hope um, you get caught and then you get arrested. Um, and you pay back the, all the money that you actually stopped. That's just, there were boxes and boxes of sneakers taken there, which is crazy. Anything you want to say, bro? <laughs> no. <laughs> On that, then. If I was out there, I might be guilty too. <laughs> Guilty. Um, uh, I'm gonna say uh, if you if you're looting like that, um, I just hope you get caught cool and and you pay back for the sneakers that you've taken and whatever the judge wants to fright you, they fright you. Simple as that. And I'm glad Q wasn't there because <laughs> we won't be doing the podcast. <laughs> when resale is too high, damn resale. Hold on, hold on. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beasts. Order. Order in the court. Order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for... Order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. That was a quick hey. open and shut case one. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, but what, what, what else are we going to say? Like, if you, you start, if you start looting stuff and you get caught, uh, you're guilty. Obviously, yeah. stealing is not, stealing is not a good thing. <laughs> Obviously. Um, I, I think I saw a lot of uh, people take out, like Travis, uh, what do you call it? The, the new brown Travis uh, Jumpman Jack T -T -Rs, T Rexes are, yeah. well, get stolen. So that, that's, that's quite interesting. So there's less peers for the public in that area. So, yeah. Nasty. Nasty work, man. Nasty. 
Yeah, nasty work. Um, so to finish off the show, have we got any discounts this week? Yeah. Um, I just spilled my damn beer all over my beat machine, so I'm a little, uh, I'm a little throwing off, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> CDG Field General uh, I see no. that No hmm? No I, I, I'm, I'm sick of CDG Everything they do is black and white And white and black I'm tired of it. I don't like this film general. It's not the worst, but yeah, I'm about to see CG, CDG right now. But they they did coming it, out at some point for y'all if y'all like them. Yeah, they did it for the um the two point five to two point five. Remember when we saw it in the release show with, with the white, all white and orange? They did the CDG for it. They did the white, the black, and the black and the white. <laughs> right that's what they always do that's what they hey. always do uh, with Nike anyway they save yeah. other stuff for the other collabs or whatever um, Air Max DN8 is apparently the next uh, Air Max Day sneaker okay have you seen it no no it's the first time I'm hearing about it Oh, brother. Take a look at this. Ooh. It looks like it belongs on a UFO's foot. UFO's looks like it's a hovercraft or a spaceship. It's like it's it's almost like if you throw it in the air and it glowed, it looked like a UFO. I'm being serious. <laughs> All the all of the lights. <laughs> it looks unique. It looks unique. It looks unique. <laughs> all right, next discount. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Lil Yachty has a collab. Nike Air Force One uh, Concrete Boys. He got his own logo. It's on the back, like a. You know, like a Rockefeller or Supreme, you know, on the heel. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so shout out to Yachty. I know he's a big Air Force One guy. Mm-hmm. And um, got to feel good. I finally have an official collab. It's supposedly releasing. We know it's good. the back door will be open on those. But uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's good. That's good. I think they should do that more with people that I are, that loved, especially celebrities that love the Air Force One. Definitely. Facts. Facts. Like they did with, uh, you know, Fat Joe. Shout out to Fat Joe. Yep. Fat Joe, um, Rockefeller, all that stuff. Clark Kent. You know, he had an Air yep, Force Clark One. Kent. Yep. So, um, yeah. Shout out to Yachty. Um, Victor Wimbanyama. Nike Wookiee of the Year. Have you seen this? You did. Hold on. Did you say Wookiee of the Year? Yes. That's what I said. Okay. Wookiee of the Year. Where is it? There it is. I knew. I, I knew. I knew it was going to have fur on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it, is it Star Force? Um, uh, not Star Force. Star Wars. Star Wars. Theme, Star, Wars. Yeah. Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars themed. Yeah. Got the alien logo on there. Rookie of the Year 2024. Of course, he did win Rookie of the Year last year. I can't tell what silhouette this is, but it got Zoom and all that. So, yeah, shout out to Wimby. This is weird. Um, I hope these do not come out, but shout out to Wimby. <laughs> and. No, I, ho- I hope they're only for his feet so I can see him actually balling them in the NBA. That'd be quite he interesting. He's not going to wear these in the game, bro. He can't. <laughs> He can't. No way. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least for me, Trey Young has been wearing Jordan 39s. <laughs> <laughs> 
Instead I, I told you, he's, 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 he's in his free run. He's in his free run, bro. He's in his free run, bro. He won. He will answer the other time. He's doing what Kobe did. He will always answer the other time, and now he's wearing Jordans. Yeah. So shout out to Trey Young, my guy. Yeah. I'm glad to see you uh, wearing some decent basketball shoes when you play. <laughs> Cause them others, remember that that other brand was you was wearing. That wasn't it. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So that was it. Uh, pretty much. Is that anymore, bro? I ain't got no more. Yeah. By the way, if you do, if uh, if Victor Vanyama does wear those, it's gonna be slam wookied. So um, watch out for that. If you if you actually done it, to forget slam dunk. So you're gonna get slam wookied. Um. But other than that, bro, that's that's the that's the show, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just saying, I want to see him wear those sneakers. It'll be quite interesting. He'll be all over the world. No, I don't. Want to see it. <laughs> I've been trying to watch the games, man. Every time the uh, Spurs game come on, they end up being a, another game that I kind of want to watch a little bit more. Uh, okay. I've been watching quite a bit so far this season. I know it's gonna ramp up. I'm trying to uh, let let some of these teams settle in, but there's been a lot of inter- interesting uh, storylines in the league so far this year. So we're gonna see what's mm-hmm. up, man. Hopefully, uh, we'll see Wendy wearing some shoes. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, 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 I, uh, except for the NBA, I'm looking forward to the NFL season because um, we're definitely having the Super Bowl party this year. I'm definitely, and I've literally got a projector. I, I bought a Samsung projector this week and we tested it out. It's absolutely fantastic, bro. It turns, it turns to, depending on the distance, it goes from like, uh, maybe 50 inch to 100 inch. And I'm like, and it's, um, HD quality, 1080p HD quality and it's fantastic. And me and the missus were playing around with it the other day and, um, watching all these music videos and the quality was like none bar it was literally like watching the tv uh with the lights down and stuff like that so we have we're gonna have epic movie nights and um <clears throat> definitely super bowl night i'm definitely be making all the american american hot dogs and corn dogs and all that stuff for always gonna be epic i'm looking forward to february and i'm looking forward to the super bowl halftime show as well it's going to be epic which is i'm geared up already bro i'm excited look 2025 I, I'm, I'm saying this now 2024, I want you to be over right this moment in time. 2025, I want you here right now because I'm excited for 2025. You don't even know. I like the amount of stuff I've got planned and the amount of stuff we got planned. It's going to be epic. I'm going to say that now. 2025 is the year. I'm telling you that. 100%. A thousand percent. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know if I want to get into this with you right now. <laughs> Because I just, I mean, it's so, I have so many problems with what you, everything you just said. So many problems. <laughs> <laughs> One foot outside the pod, yeah? <laughs> so many problems. Oh my God. <laughs> what, like, what? what? You, you, would, oh man. Oh man. Should I do it? Nah, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna let you rock. I'm gonna let you rock. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say. Come, bro. <laughs> nah, I ain't got nothing to say. That's it. That's it. Right, cool to you. Cool to I gotta you. clean up this beer off my damn desk before it start drying oh, yeah. up and getting sticky. I really did waste uh <laughs> beer on my damn beat machine. Feel like a fool right now. Jeez. Uh. <laughs> now that, that's a proper that, now that's a proper sticky situation if that happens. Facts. And it's chocolate beer. <laughs> You know, it's, oh. it's, it's dark beer season. You know, I'm peanut butter, chocolate, all that, man. This is ridiculous. I'm, I'm going to source some of the beers that you um, drink and try them no, over don't Christmas. Drink, don't drink my beer. Don't drink no, my I'm going to. I'm going to try. Look, look, you, look I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say right this moment in time, you and me are definitely, even though we don't want to be, influencers. And I realise that. And the more more I talk to you about it, and the more you reinforce that statement, the more I realise it's, it's true. Because the amount of people that have, like, the, the amount of people that have actually went and bought stuff off 
off a review, off a, off a Instagram post, off of the fact that you mentioned something and they bought something. Uh, the fact that I'm buying, I've sent, I've, you drink some beer on the show and I'm like, oh, I'm intrigued to see that. I'm intrigued to taste that. Like that, that's, that's influence. So, um, I will be buying some of the beers because I'm intrigued to see how they taste and I will be tasting them over Christmas and I will let you know. I will let you know. Cause I've never no, been a beer oh, guy no. at all. Oh, no. <laughs> you will know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway <laughs> long as Trey Young wearing Jordans everything is right with the world yeah uh, shout out to uh, one of the presidential candidates mm-hmm. uh, it'll be election day when this airs so shout out to one of them I'll let you decide which one I'm shouting out Um. so <laughs> for all <laughs> Our supporters, the audio listeners, the YouTube viewers, all the YouTube viewers. I appreciate the views, man. The views went up, yeah. man. Uh, yeah. And the subs. Appreciate all y'all. All the new subs. All our Instagram friends and family. Um. Yeah, man. We love everybody. We love us. We appreciate mm-hmm. y'all. I want to say shout out to Miss Old Collector again too. Shout out to you, bro. I, I rock with yeah. you. I see what you be doing over there. I see it. Um, for for TJ, for me, everybody have a great day, great week, great month, great year, and continue to buy what you like and rock what you like, and don't believe the hype because the hype ain't real. And remember, sneakers don't make you cool. You make the sneakers cool. Yes. <laughs> Sizzling. I don't know. I don't even know why I did that, bro. <laughs> I backed you in it. Sizzling. 